Hey guys, today's Friday, July the 21st of 2023, and I want to go over the dollar, energy sector, and metals. So without any further delay, let's get into it. Look at crude. Look at crude. Holding that 50% level. No one wants to push it down. If they do, they're buying it up. 50%, 68.50, strong support. Interesting, we got three weeks. If we close Friday up here, we have three weeks uh, above the mobile band. So that's different from all these other, you know, past week uh, calendar uh, candles. So keep an eye on that. Uh, you can see we had a squeeze play and we got a squeeze play on the weekly. And it looks like now it wants to explode to the upside. So passive least resistance is to the upside. Uh, looks like it may want to go and test and kiss at least, uh, what's that, a 8364. Our Bob is doing the same thing. Wants to test uh, 282 all the way to 289. Squeeze play on crude and our Bob. And uh, the squeeze play ended around 626. But look at the uh, buying pressure here. Uh, so, so far it's looking good to the upside. Those are the targets. Natural gas, uh, nice day. Uh, yesterday, uh, Thursday, we knew, uh, according to statistical calendar, that uh, we we're going to get a pop, and it played out pretty good. Maybe Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday were kind of a little off. Although they were trying to tank it uh, Wednesday. They were trying to tank it hard. On the four-hour, you can see they just kept slamming it. But uh, traders and algos and whoever was trying to short it, they had no success, and uh, we popped it up. So we got a nice little pop, and it looks like upside. Uh, it wants to continue, maybe kiss 302. We'll see. But so far, PPS buy signal on the uh, daily and on the weekly. We haven't had a PPS sell signal on the weekly. We'll look at it more in levels and all that. Heating oil. Look at heating oil. Finally, it broke out of this level of 245. We got three weekly candles above the mobile band. So that is good. Uh, we need to see what targets. Uh, we could be going to look like we, we close here. Next one will be, uh, 276 all the way to two, uh, 302. And you can see that we just hit this, uh, pivot on the, uh, daily. So 271 so far looking good. The uh, energy sector is moving. Looking at gold, look like we're about, we were about to break out of the gold and the mobile band, but it looks like it ducked in. I'll show you the dollar, what the dollar is doing. 1969, you can see that the histogram here is still showing that it wants to go lower. And you got these two days that have been, uh, two weekly candles that have been in squeeze play. Started uh, July the 10th. And you can see that we got this nice little move, but then it kind of pulled back in. So now we're in the noise barrier here. And in regards to silver, it's much stronger than gold. It popped even more. I, was, I thought I was going to kiss this trend line of $26, but hasn't gone there yet. As you can see, the histogram is kind of weakness. And we just got a blue bar here on the uh, silver, not yet on gold. Uh, but we do got a pullback on the daily. Copper, same thing. It's just chopping here between this uh, triangular formation. So it's going to have to decide where it wants to break out. It's still undecided. Uh, so it's in a squeeze play on the weekly. Uh, but we'll see once it breaks out what's going to happen. Uh, platinum. Looked like it almost kissed this trend line, but failed. And now it's like retracing or having a pullback. PPS sell signal just kicked in on the daily. So I would be cautious. Uh, here, let's look at uh, palladium real quick before I go to the dollar. Uh, let's see here. You see, uh, palladium put a low of 1185. Let's close this up a little bit so we can see. So it was trading in this range and then it slammed right down. It was like, it's trying to at least test this, uh, 1332, 1333. Uh, but it hasn't shown that it wants to, uh, close above it yet. And so far, it's kind of stalling, and it's in a squeeze play on the uh, daily. Let's look at the dollar real quick. Dollar, I have a target of 98-ish. That it raises up, because over here is 98.50, and this is 97.50. This white line right here is 98. That's the target I have. So now we got a nice little pop. You see the PPS buy signal? 
Tekanashi candles are positive, though the trend is down. It hasn't closed the MOBO, so it's above the 100%. So it's, it's it has regained this, this level right here of uh, $100. Let's see if it's going to, you know, push, maybe stall here, test it, and maybe bounce up or continue and then finally hit my 98 that I've been waiting for. So we'll see that. Uh, if it stalls and it pushes down, maybe the gold, silver, and some of the metals are going to push higher. Uh, okay, I'm in five minutes. Let's look at our silver, I mean silver, uh, natural gas. You can see this was concerning, this uh, MACD crossover, but now it turned positive. Last week volume was negative. This week is uh, positive, but not as strong as last week. Uh, and we're above the point of control with somewhere around 257, 258 on the weekly. So that is good. Let's see if I can open this up a little more. There you go. That blue line is the point of control. Uh, nothing's really changed. There's a point of control over here, 280. We haven't, we almost got close to it, 278 on the high for uh, this week. Still positive here. Uh, market sentiment still positive. We're already clocking 59. Uh, I thought I was going to get down here, but you know what? Now this linear regression channel has been holding support. And there's also a 50% coming across here, which is this one right here, this line. So it's been holding pretty good. PPS buy signal on the daily, you know, hit the midpoint of the linear regression channel. And uh, it's kind of pulling back a little bit. And the uh, MACD is positive. Friday's volume is really strong. Uh, let's see how today we close. Let's look at our um, market profile. You can see right here. Uh, I don't really have nothing else to show here. Let's see, maybe some of the GAN grids. You can see that we were hitting here the 75% um, support at this, uh, what is that, the uh, one by two. Now it's kind of pulling back. And let's do the, the one from up here. See the 50% from this high to this low. We're kind of stalling at the 75% uh, there, which is uh, 275. Uh, I think and look at our trend lines. Where's my trend line? This is the one I'm watching to see if we get to kiss that angle right here. Let's go into our... Um, levels midpoint chart so this 50 percent was holding well this is the monthly midpoint so that was green so if you bought from here uh, you got this nice little run with the uh, probability that thursday was going to get the nice pop and we did get it uh today you know statistically let's see what's going on today so it's down on friday trading day and a weekday is kind of down to flat so you got them kind of negative Thursday was a big up day, so you got a double whammy on the weekday and the trading day. And these were kind of iffy. You can look at the four hour, you can see that Wednesday they were trying to slam it for the, you know, the four. It was just, it was just a battle of the algos, traders, everything. And eventually we just kind of held it and then we just popped it for Thursday. Let's see. In regards to the uh, weekly chart, uh, I thought, man, we were going to kiss at least uh, 288. But we kind of stalled at 278 right here. And uh, we try to do it again and fail. And now we're pushing back down. Hopefully, 263 holds. That's the midpoint uh, for today or for this week. We don't know uh, for next week until we close. And for today, the midpoint is 270 for support and uh, 268. Uh, some support here. So those are the support levels. Uh, 262, 257, uh, but 260, 262, definitely some strong support on the weekly. So we'll see how that's going to play out. Lastly, I'm already running out of time. Uh, let's look at our, you know, square of nine. As you can see, we went as high as 278. So... Somebody's calling me 278. Uh, you can line that up with the 268 high. So that's a strong uh, connection there. You got the 194 low. We, we went over by one uh, tick. 
Uh, so that's that. And then you got the 302 high lines up perfectly with the 278. So you got this triangular uh, thing here that lines up. That 278 will probably be it for uh, this week. Maybe we're going to start going back down. And you're ready at what, 270, 265, and 257 right here. So we'll see how we'll go. Somebody's calling me. It looks like it's urgent. So I'm going to sign out. Hopefully you like this video and I'll keep you posting on my thoughts on the dollar, the energy, and the metals.